All right, so it is Saturday, October 2nd. And since it is Saturday, um, if you've been here for the past couple of vlogs, you already know what time it is. It is time for me to clean my dirty house. So I'm going to try to get this done in an hour. I have not yet reached my one hour goal, but I'm gonna do it today. I'm going to set some leaves, vacuum to sweeping while I start. I guess I'm gonna start in the living room cleaning, move to the kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and hopefully I can get done in an hour. Fingers crossed. And I made it, house is clean in under an hour actually. I actually had 12 minutes to spare. So what I'm gonna do to reward myself is I got this pumpkin spice, uh, these little pay cups um, from Walmart, great value brand. And um, yeah, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee, pumpkin spice coffee in honor of fall. Um, this is not a Keurig, obviously. I think this cost me $10. I got it uh, on Black Friday. I don't think it was a Black Friday deal or anything. They just had them out there. It's a little cheap, like, single cup coffee maker, but, I mean, it gets the job done. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make me a cup of coffee to reward myself for cleaning the house in under an hour. <laughs> So, like I told you guys in yesterday's vlog, I have been slowly but surely coming around to the idea of um, writing full time. And in preparation for that, I ordered this book off Amazon. It's just 500 fantasy writing prompts. And I plan to flip through it and highlight a few that interest me. Um, I know a lot of people are anti-writing prompt. I am not. For me, it's no different than um, listening to a song and getting inspiration for a story idea from it or having a weird dream, drawing inspiration from it. Um, I drew inspiration the other night from a, a cooking show that I was watching. <laughs> so it is by Erica Blumenthal. If you want to check it out, I flipped through it earlier uh, in the car and um, a couple of them sound really promising. So what I also have been doing, I'm going to sound like a crazy person, I know, and I'm fully prepared for that. What I have been doing is I'm basically trying to come up with a story idea to keep myself on a steady publishing schedule from now until basically the end of my days not like the end of my days but like when I'm gonna stop writing so I've calculated that I need to come up with uh, 500 story ideas and so I have a few and I have been logging them in my journal and so uh, last night I numbered the last few pages of this journal from 1 to 500 and so I'm going to record my story ideas there from now on and I'm going to just show you what I have so far and kind of talk a little bit about the ideas um, that I have so far because I like when people are open with uh, what they're writing not to the point where it's spoilery but like you know give me enough detail that I'm interested in the book I mean if you don't tell anybody anything how can you expect them to want to read your book so I'm gonna pick like five of them and just tell you like general keywords or whatever what I want the story to be about. So as you can see, I'm not super far into my 500 ideas goal. Um, I think, you know, roughly give or take in my head, I've got about 90 that I could write down. This is just what I've written down so far, the ones I'm definitely going to do. So I'm just gonna pick a couple and explain what they're gonna be about. Um, Thorns is going to be about this family of uh, voodoo priestesses. Basically, their ancestors um, used voodoo out of desperation to get back at um, cruel slave masters that they had, but uh, the gifts that they have been given come with a price. So, for instance, my main character has the gift of 
I think I'm going to give her, I have two ideas. So I was thinking I was going to give her the gift of, you know, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but <laughs> everybody that meets her falls in love with her, but uh, if she loves them back, they die. So I was thinking about that. The other one I was thinking about was that she could see the future, but she only sees bad things. So yeah, that's my idea for that. Um, Dreamcatchers is about, going to be about um, this league of like nightmare assassins. So they have the ability to uh, project themselves into people's dreams and basically walk dreamscapes and uh slay monsters there so that's what that's gonna be about let's do a couple more um red is going to be my take on red riding hood so it's going to be uh, a werewolf book and i'm super excited about it it's going to be like a courtship uh games kind of a book with like royal families and intrigue all that good stuff uh, with werewolves thrown in as a twist. Um, to the Bone is going to be a zombie book. So, zombie apocalypse, but make it fantasy. Um, what else? Oh, Dollface is going to be about a girl who is not actually alive. So, she was crafted by an... I don't know if I'm going to make him an alchemist or a wizard. I don't, I don't know yet. But, um then her father the her creator is kidnapped and so she has to like go rescue him from the people who have abducted him and so along the way she starts to develop human emotions and the whole thing is that like she longs for a human heart um let's do one more uh let's do my first one so sparks and shadows is a book that i'm working on right now and it is about a girl who finds out after she is almost killed that she is actually the half-blood princess of a race of creatures who have control over the elements. And so she goes to the school to learn how to control her powers and become the next ruler of that realm. And along the way, she meets and falls in love with the son of the woman who is trying to kill her the woman who is trying to kill her is the leader of the rebel forces so I, I i'm calling them the dark fae so they draw their powers from shadow and hatred envy all these like you know dark things and um the regular fae draw their power from like light and love and you know protective instinct and things like that so yeah these are my stories cannot wait to write them i uh, don't even know what i want to write next but yeah that's how it should be i think like when you are writing something when you're coming up with ideas i think it should be um if you're not like super excited to write it then you know you should just scrap that idea because you know it's hard enough to find motivation to write sometimes uh especially when you don't really feel like it so if you're excited about the project it makes it easier and so I am going to try to come up with a few more ideas today. And I think I'm going to also, in today's journal page, I want to map out my chapters for uh, my remaining chapters of Sparks and Shadows. Okay, so I am at last done planning at least up until chapter 64 I need to um, decide if I want anything specific to happen in between uh, something huge that's happening and happily ever after I know in general what I want to happen but yeah I need to make sure that I know for sure um, if there's anything specific that I need to go right there and but in general I know what's going to happen what that arc is going to be so you know I'm basically done with planning uh the book's going to be 75 chapters long I'm currently on chapter 45 and 
I made this little um, thing. I'm inspired. I was inspired to do this by uh, Katie Wismer uh, here on YouTube and also by Kelly Ty. So um, I am, yeah, I'm at almost at 90,000 words. I'm on like 89,000. And so 90,000, I'll circle that. So I've got this much left to go. And that's everything that I've done so far. So super proud of that. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to check back tomorrow for another short raw vlog. I love you guys. God bless you guys. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.